17. Let's go now live with Mike Seidel, who's in Freeport, Illinois. And Mike, again, this is not just a, a one-day event. This thing has really been set up because of the very wet spring, even wet summer we've had in this part of the Midwest. Yeah, some parts of this uh, Illinois uh, section, northern Illinois, have had upwards of three feet of rain since the first of the year. Now, here in Freeport, they picked up between eight and nine inches going into the weekend and into the weekend. The water is receding off the Pecatonica River, but it did get up this high on this house right here, so you can see how it's receded. But even though the water's receding on the surface, the water table is way up, and look what they're still doing, pumping gallons and gallons of water out of the basements. And they're going to be doing this at least through today and tomorrow. One place where they can't pump the water out are the fields, the farmlands. A big impact on the corn and soybean crop here in the Midwest. This is a critical time of the year for farmer Cody Book, and it's not looking good. We're a month behind. That, that really stemmed from a late planting window we had. Normally we're trying to get in end of April, beginning of May. This summer has been beyond wet. This includes more than four and a half inches of rain that fell this past week. 14 and a half inches since June 1st. It's actually stunted the growth as well. The normal for us is like anywhere from 8 to 12, 14 feet even. Um, I would say we're not going to get there. Because of the very wet spring and summer, the book farm didn't plant 130 out of 240 acres. You can see the standing water right here. Cody Book tells us this is the first time this has happened in his lifetime. Temperatures, we'd, we'd like to see things in the mid 80s, up through the mid 90s um, with a sporadic, you know, every week or so, maybe an inch of rain. We need to be done with this four to five inch rain events. But there is a bright spot. The winter wheat's been excellent for us. Quality's good, yields are excellent. I mean, this is actually record yield for us. And I just talked to the owner of the house. Once again, much like in 2010, which was the worst flood, the washer and dryer are floating in the basement. They'll have to be replaced. You can see now the pump is getting most of the water out. You can see how the flow has stopped, but it comes and goes, and the basement will fill back up. Forecast, just what they need out here. Drier weather coming in. We've got a northerly wind. Look at those temperatures. 50s in the morning over the weekend. 70s to near 80 for highs. Now, uh, Cody Book, the farmer, said he'd like to see highs between the mid-80s and mid-90s. That's not in the cards, but the farmers will take the dry weather. Paul? Good news to see that forecast in dry weather. Thanks, Mike Sedell in Freeport, Illinois, for us this morning. We'll